the Council of Education. First heard of a new school being set up on the banks of the Murray River in November 1872. Lessons took place in a very rough slab hut with an earthen floor and about 25 students attending. With that number, aid was soon sought to establish as a provisional school, which was accepted in January the following year, but on the condition a more suitable school was built. Come on guys, let's go! Which it was! The school's first teacher, Mr Cadden, was given the annual salary of £36. Originally, he was an accountant. Until the money ran out. So then he dug for gold. Until the gold ran out. Before becoming a tutor. At 51, he saw the job advertised and made the move to the country. An inspector described him as refined, a man of temperate habits, of excellent morals and fair play. He does, however, have little understanding of the teaching method. Oh, and he wears glasses. Oh. A year later, the settlers erected a new school building. A slab building, roofed with bark and boarded floor, glazed windows and a fireplace. A residence of a very primitive kind was built next to them. The building for the teacher to live in. Right, back to class all of you. <sighs> Due to low attendance, the school had to shut down for one year. In 1878, the school was revived by its new teacher, Mr. Plummer. He wrote to the Council of Education, when this school was opened by me, it was only after repairing it at my own expense. The roof was off when I came here and the place was used by traveling swagmen to camp in at night. All school property had been destroyed, except in the desks, two maps, a blackboard and a ball frame. The books had been reduced to a mass of rotten pulp and slates broken and cupboards destroyed. I have managed to obtain books, slates, pens, enough to go on with, but I'm still very much in need of the articles mentioned within this letter, which I hope to receive at your earliest convenience. You spelt that wrong. <laughs>